Hello and welcome to another update video about the AI. Why? Why? Why not? Broke out yesterday. I think it was after my video. We were already, we were already watching the price go a little higher. It actually reached yesterday 48.9 cents. So we're getting closer to that minimum target I defined for Circle Wave 3 in this bullish structure. It starts to look a little bit like um, FET, but still weaker. So quite choppy price action, I have to say. We don't get the same sentiment at the moment that, for example, FET or Edgex generated. So VAI still has a little bit more room um, to the upside, a little bit more uh, momentum is needed, really, yeah, to the upside to really get to these targets. What what are the next milestones on the chart? So first of all, we obviously uh, we obviously see the structure as in a third wave, circle wave three, which minimally should reach the 1.236 Fibonacci extension. It's at 80.6 cents, and we talk about ideally one dollar two or more. For me, there's a minimum target, which is really the bare minimum to consider it a third wave, and that's as I said, 80.6 cents. And yeah, then the ideal targets, they basically start at $1.2. That's where I would like to see the price get to. We're currently most likely still in wave three of circle wave three. Current price action supports that idea further, but the wave five, I mean the wave five of three here could still get maybe one more high, but the microstructure is getting quite choppy. So the idea is that, yeah, at some point we might get this wave four and then the last push higher in wave five of circle wave three. We should then still get circle wave four and circle wave five and so on. Um, this is the main element of the trend, the third of a third wave, yeah? So this is normally where it should start to go a little bit parabolic. I mean, we it starts, but it's not a bit less, less uh, you know, a little bit, little bit um, weaker than I'd like it to be to be you know in third wave to really believe it but yeah we are we're getting there yesterday we broke out of this sideways structure there and i have adjusted the micro support range basically what we do we are measuring the length of the current third wave that is the micro support for the fourth wave i mean i'm not saying the wave four here starts at the moment but if the price dips into the orange support region it is worth observing if there is a reaction to 37.6 cents 31.7 or 27.6 cents. These are the nearest Fibonacci support levels to which the price could react. And then ideally we're moving higher. Next upside resistance is at 54.5 cents. That's the 100% extension level of this move to the upside that occurred between October last year and December last year. Um, so this is the wave one and then the wave two pullback. So that's where we're measuring the Fibonacci extensions and the 100% extension level is often a very important resistance level. A move above 54.5 cents could then send the price to around about 80 cents or more. And there isn't really an upside limit for a third wave, but as I said, the first ideal target is $1.2, then we've got $1.52 and further upside potential is definitely there. Um, but yeah, for, for now, I don't assume that this ready is over. I'd still like to see it go a little bit higher and um, yeah, the support area is clear. So as long as support is holding, this structure does not need to change. So just a quick update about VAI. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.